Hey guys, it's Shania and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my October favorites. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I've been doing a lot of different things with my hair lately. Like I've been trying to experiment a little bit more because I do want to have a different kind of style for the, you know, for the fall time and stuff. And because I have done my hair like different than it was before, I just wanted to go ahead and try something new with styling it too. So I went ahead and went to Ross because they have the best irons in the world and I got this. This is the curling wand by Revive Beauty. I think it's about a one inch barrel. The wire itself, like the plug-in, is like really, really long. It's like eight feet long, I think. I'm not even sure. So it heats up really, really quickly and it gets very hot, which is good. And it really does make those perfect wavy, sort of beachy, nice curls. I used it to do my hair today, as you guys can tell. I think I got it for like $11, which is great. So if you guys are in the market for a new one, go ahead and check out Ross because I'm sure you'll find something that you'll love over there because they have like the best brands and usually it's like super cheap. So yeah, go ahead and check out Ross because hopefully you'll find something like I do. The next product I'm going to talk to you guys about is a hairspray and this is the Tresemme Professionals uh, Trace 2 Spray Superior Hold with Touchable Feel. It's like, it's just a regular hairspray, you know what I mean? This is the bottle, it's hairspray, Tresemme Professionals, yeah. And it says extra firm control, it has 4 out of 5, it's a hairspray, anti-humidity resistance, I don't know. But I love it because it really does hold my curl and it comes with a lot of products so you get a lot for your money. And usually these are really, like, they're on sale a lot, like I've noticed. So if you guys are in the market for one, go ahead and get them. The next couple of products I have to show you guys are two things that I usually use either after or while I'm in the shower. When I'm in the shower, I use the Aussie Moist Miracle, uh, conditioning treatment my bad and then i also use the going your food to sleek and shine moroccan sleek oil treatment when i get out of the shower and these two products are amazing together because they're both treatments the first product is what i've been using to cleanse my skin and this is the oil free acne wash by neutrogena it's really gentle it gets all my makeup off that i usually use like if i have like mascara on and i usually don't use waterproof anymore because it's really hard to get off and i just i like how my how my eyelashes look when i don't have any mascara on and then when i put it on like my eyelashes just look 10 times better than the day before when I used waterproof and I couldn't get it off, if you guys know what I mean. But anyway, so this does take off my all my makeup and it also really like gently cleans my skin, but I feel like it really does clean my skin really, really nicely. So I love this. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I do have oily slash acne prone skin. So yeah, and I love this stuff so, so much and it's just absolutely amazing. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who has like my skin type because it works great for me and for the rest of my family because we all use this. So yeah, we all have the same uh, skin type anyway. So. The next product is a scrub, and this is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub, and it says that it prevents blackheads and minimizes pores, and I definitely, definitely agree with that. It has salicylic acid in it, and it's 100% natural, which is great. So basically, what I like about this is that it really does feel like it's getting into my pores and really cleaning it and stuff like that, but it also feels like it's taking, it's taking off the dead skin cells, which is great, because I don't usually like to use the kind of stuff that I have to, like, scrape off my face or whatever like and I feel like a lot of scrubs really feel like they're just it hurts but this one is just I don't know what it is about it maybe it's because it's natural and it's just nicely gentle to my skin and at the same time it does the job so I really really love this um I definitely recommend it to anybody who again has my skin type or maybe even a different skin type I'm not sure but it does work for me so I definitely recommend this to anybody who has acne slash oily skin the last product that I have is something that I actually got prescribed to me and this is from the dermatologist and it's the clindamycin phosphate top topical lotion and it's basically just like a moisturizer sort of thing what you put on after you're done you know cleaning your face and stuff and it basically just helps to prevent pimples and it works amazing for me so like if you go to the dermatologist and you want to get this then tell them that you want the glue i will go ahead i can't say it that much but i'll go ahead and i'll just like put the little text right here so you guys can go ahead and see that and write it down or something but i feel like this works really really well for my skin ask them about it see if it'll work great for you or if it may or may not who knows i absolutely love this and it really does help to prevent pimples and stuff i haven't gotten a pimple in like five months i want to say so i'm like so happy with this this is like a miracle product and okay so moving on to my makeup products i do have a little bit of products to show you guys i don't really have many like it's not crazy but it is some stuff that are by the way they're all from the drugstore because i love drugstore makeup i love to experiment with that i love to see if it'll work with me you know what i mean so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy any of these products too but anyways 
So the first product I want to talk to you guys about is a concealer, and this is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I got mine in the shade Light Medium, and I use this underneath my eyes to cover up blemishes, all that jazz, and it works amazing. The concealer itself is pretty moisturizing in my opinion. Like, I don't know, I feel like the formula is really moisturizing to my skin. And at the same time, I, it really does cover. Like, it, it works pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. And it is the Color Stay line, so it does last a pretty long time, which is great, so I don't really have to touch up throughout the day, because the last thing I want to do in my day is go to the bathroom so I can touch up on my makeup. Like, I hate that. So every time I go and to get any makeup products from the drugstore, it's always something that I know will last a while or that I feel like it'll last a really long time because I don't like to touch up. Touching up is like the worst thing in the world for me. I hate that. The next product I want to show you guys are my blush combo, and this is what they look like. Um, the first one is the Revlon Cream Blush and Very Flirtatious. I'm wearing these on my cheeks today, by the way, if you were wondering. Um, but anyway, so this product is amazing. It's like a nice mauve kind of color and it is a cream blush. I do wear this every single day by itself, usually like when I go to school and stuff like that. And the cute thing about it is that when you press this little button right here, a cute little mirror pops out, which is nice. So when I do need a little bit more of a pick-me-up, I like to use this, which is the NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. And it looks like this, but I don't want to show you guys the packaging too much because it kind of blinds you. But this is the actual like color itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has some highlighting shades, um, rosy, dark mauvey shades, um, some pink shades, bronzing shades. It just has everything in here. And I like to just take my face brush, swirl it around, and then just put it on my skin. And it gives a nice little glow to my skin as well, which is really, really nice. It doesn't make it look um, sparkly in any way, which I like too. So it does work really, really great on my skin. The next product I want to show you guys is an eyeshadow trio, and this is the NYC HD Color um, Eyeshadow Trio Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Long Beach Sands, and it looks like this, and it has like a nice, um, what's the, mauve brown sort of kind of color, and then it also has um, like a neutral brown that's really light and it's really like nice and shimmery and then this one is like a medium brown and then like a nice highlighting kind of color i like to take this and put it all over my lid and work it in my crease then take this and put this on my lid afterwards and then put this on my inner corners and it just works amazing and i have it on my eyes today if you guys are wondering the last couple of products that I have to show you guys are eye products. And the first product that I want to show you is the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black Vinyl. And it's just really, really nice. It glides on really smoothly. I use it almost every day. I use it today for my eyeliner, if you guys can tell. Um, it really, it just glides on really nicely. It's not super duper shiny or anything. Um, and it really works really well for making wings, I think so. So I love this product and it does last a pretty long time, not gonna lie. So I definitely recommend this product to anybody who's out there looking for a new eyeliner. I think it's really, really great and it works amazing on me. And then also I have the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And I love this stuff. Again, I'm using it on my eyelashes today. Um, and what I love about it is just, it re it's really dramatic and it kind of gives you like that false eyelash look without even having the false eyelashes. It doesn't look natural at all in my opinion. So if you're like the kind of person who likes natural eyelashes, I wouldn't really recommend this. But if you're the kind of girl like me who likes the, fall the false eyelash look but doesn't really care for the fact that you have to wear false eyelashes to get that look, I definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking for it. I heard that the waterproof mascara is too dry. Um, and this one works better. I don't know. I haven't tried the waterproof one before, but this is the non-waterproof formula and it works great for me. The last thing I want to show you guys is a mug that I actually got at Ross not too long ago and it looks like this. The print of it is just beautiful. It's just like a Rome, Italy kind of thing and it has the Colosseum all around it and it's a really big mug. And it just, I don't know, I feel like it's just perfect for me. It, like, it matches my personality great. I always, I want to go to Rome slash Italy so bad. Like, I've always wanted to go to Italy and France and London and just all of those places. So I love international mugs like this because they just kind of describe me and what I want to do in my future. So I love this thing. And it was only $2.99, which is a great steal. And I definitely recommend anybody who's out there looking for any new mugs to go to Ross because Ross is just 
perfect when it comes to that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's about it for my October favorites video. I know this is going up a little bit earlier, but it's just because I wanted to kind of focus on the last couple of makeup tutorials that I have for you guys for the Halloween time. So this way I can just get this out of the way and just put up those, those videos for you guys. This way I can just be done and I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media sites, which will be listed down in the description box below. I have Twitter, Instagram, um, Pinterest, Tumblr, all that stuff, Keek. Everything will be in the bottom bar down below. So if you guys want to go ahead and check me out on those sites, um, go ahead and feel free to do so. Don't forget to, like I said, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye!